Ona o for to connection. Obi na mo bodo. Na da di dal so. Me go lan kaaka. I can am go. You know, that's your goal. Who you going to dedicate that goal to? Uh, you know, for now I I feel I was coming out from from injury, you know, so not a big injury, but still I have my my medical team, and they did a lot of, a lot of work to make sure I came back to this game. You know, this has been like for for the past few few games before this game, I've been off, I haven't played, so they were doing everything to make sure I started this game, and then I started. So I'm just gonna dedicate the, game, the goal to them. You know, for the hard work and for always trying, for believing that I had to. They have to push me to even come back before I should. So they did a lot of work. Usually I should I wasn't supposed to be ready now, but they did extra to make sure I was ready. So I believe that this goal goes to them. Overall, how can you rate since the performance against Houston tonight? Oh well, I I can say that this 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 game is a um, little bit different because we just came back from preseason, you know, so we're still trying to to get our momentum, so it wasn't our best game against them, them, this team. It wasn't our, our best game, but the only thing that we had to take out from the, is the victory, and then we work on other stuff, because I believe that with games, more games, we are going to get them much better, and then if we get this opportunity and in the next teams, I believe we are going to, to, to perform more than we did, but overall, it was, um, it was an okay game, and the support we got from the fans was, you know, it was like what helped us today. At halftime, when the game was at 1 1, what was the coach's message in the locker room when you guys came out for you to get that second goal quick into the second 45 minutes? Oh, yeah, the message was simple, you know, like to focus on our game. You know, we had a game plan before the game but like it's like you maybe you you can see or we know that it wasn't happening it wasn't what we we planned it wasn't coming so he he was trying to remind us our game plan from the start from the first half which wasn't going so well it goes so well sometimes it comes down so he was trying to tell us to keep this same same game plan till the end that if we do that uh, we're gonna make something out of this game so we came back from second half with the same energy, with the same mindset to focus on our game plan, which I believe it helped. You seem to enjoy a kind of cult figure here in Saints. I spoke with the owner, uh, uh, um, Lindis, and he expressed you know, his um, happiness and he loved the way you play. He loved all the things you brought to the team, you know, the steadiness, the steadiness, everything, you know. I, I, how does that make you feel when you hear such from the owner of the team? You know, talking about your your your, your talent, your abilities, and what you have brought to FC Cincinnati. Oh well, it, I feel good. You know, I feel good, and it makes me want to want to do more because I know that you know to set a standard, you need to keep to this level. You know, and possibly you need to always improve on that. So when I get this um, kind of praise, I feel good. But I always stand on it to work on it because I know there's a lot of room for improvement, you know. And I believe that with the with the kind of group that we have, both officials, both coaches, and the management, there is no limit to to what we can achieve together. There is no limit to what FC Cincy and Obina Mobutu can achieve here in the MLS. Last season, they finished fifth and made the whole season. So maybe this season, they might go all the way in the Eastern Conference. My name is Sam, and this is Around the MLS on Africa Sports Network.